This is Rob Charles and Breakfast on Magic 999. A lot of miles, Black Velvet, Magic 999. So the telly teeter. What could it be? Let's take a couple of calls here. Line five, we've got Keith. What do you reckon then, Keith? This is a total guess. Yes? It's only because it sounds a bit Latin American, that tune. Yeah. I'm going for duty free. Duty free? It's mm. not duty free. Mm. It, is a, it is a difficult one today. Yes. Well, I must admit it's a long time since duty free was on, so I thought I'll, I'll risk it. Yeah. Oh, well. Not okay. To worry. Right. Ch- cheers, Keith. Bye. Bye bye. Hello, Magic. Hello, Rob. Hello, who's this? It's Tony. All right, Tony, you okay? <laughs> I'm fine. Do you have a nice holiday in America? I certainly did. But it's not Sunday night at London Palladium or something stupid like that, is it? It's not. Okay, I have a question for you as well. Go on, then. Uh, do you know who's. Because I'm doing a crossword, a pop quiz. Right, and I'm just stuck on a couple. Who sang Earth So Good in 1975? Judy, uh, a, a female artist. Susan Cadogan. Oh, you're a star, Rob. <laughs> you're, right, if I win it, I'll share a prize with you, pal. What's the prize? A thousand quid. Oh, lovely. All right. Cheers. I'll take it easy. Bye-bye. Bye. It's just gone 8 o'clock. This is Magic, with the best of the 60s, 70s, and more. Surely you can't be serious. Waking up the Red Rose County, Rob Charles. I am serious, and don't call me Shirley. Good morning! Say good morning to Magic. Madonna, borderline. Christine, have you told everybody to be quiet there? They, I've shifted <laughs> them all into to the room and into the garage and they're all over the place. I've uh, a house full. I don't know where they've all appeared from. Are you cooking Sunday lunch then? No, I'm the heck. No? No, I'm just lazy. I can't be bothered. So what are you doing? Are you off out or, or they're not stopping for tea? Oh, they're not all stopping for tea. No, I've got people shifting stuff up to tip for me. I have my daughter and a friend and I have my son's girlfriend and baby. and <laughs> Oh, I've just an hour. My husband, he's been washing up and... We have all sorts of people here. What is this thing with husbands washing up? I do that as well. Well, I told my husband, we've been married 19 years, yeah. and I told my husband, the day he cooks is the day I wash up, and <laughs> he's, I've never washed up yet. <laughs> <laughs> my toes are crinkled at the front because of that fr- close to the uh, the, the skirting yeah, board from washing up. Yeah, little feet, aren't they? Yeah, aren't that's they? it, yeah. They're getting <laughs> to sink. It used to be size 10 before I got married, now I'm a size 6. <laughs> I'm not saying what I'm saying about little feet. OK. Uh, right, then, let me see. We've got six questions here. Are you feeling confident? Fairly. Yeah? Uh, th- there is one problem, though. Go on. I can't find the question. Oh, they're here. I've got them here. <laughs> I was going to say, I'll tell you questions. <laughs> <laughs> question number one. Where do the Wombles live? Wimbledon Common. Underground, overground, Wimbledon free. The Wimbledon, Wimbledon, Wimbledon Common. <laughs> they used to be on Summertime Special, didn't they? They did. Summertime Special. Yeah. Get on down to the Summertime Sound. That was like that, <laughs> wasn't it? It was my buy, yes. Yeah. Hey, we'll have to do a question on that. Well, we, we know the answer now. That's yeah, we, we do. can't do it now, can we? <laughs> Summertime Special. That's going back a few years, isn't it? It is absolute 70s. Yeah. Uh, question number two. What kind of animal was Foghorn Leghorn? I say, I say, I say, it's a big cock. <laughs> Just get on with it, boy. He's gone. (laughs) 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 Got a sweat on. (laughs) The music's run out as well. Uh, Number three. What is the maximum life expectancy of an ant? 45 days. 45 days. <laughs> Number <me>. four. <laughs> I have to give up these bags. <laughs> Go on. In Dad's Army, what was Private Pike's first name? Frank. Frank. <laughs> <laughs> Number five. What invention only sold six? <laughs> 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 it's his first oh, month of oh, sale. Incorrigible. <laughs> 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 Sorry, Christine. It's all right. What invention? Holy sauces in his first month of sale. <laughs> You've got me. You've got me. <laughs> oh, no. <sighs> Calm down. Right. <sighs> I'd breathe. Yeah. Yes. <sighs> what invention? Only sold six in its first month of sale. I'm going to go for yes. a computer. A computer. <laughs> OK. 
Okay. Number six. What sport do the teams Manchester Giants and Birmingham Bullets play? Basketball. Basketball. Okay, Steve. <sighs> Thank goodness. I <laughs> almost kept count. It's uh, you got four. Four. How four out I of got six. Four when they only changed one answer from last guy. Which one did you change from last time? Question number five. Question number five. You said. He got five, and he got, and he changed yes, that one, and I only changed one. Christine, number five, he could have got wrong. Yeah, well, that's the one I changed. Did you? Yeah, I had all the same answers oh, no. apart from that one. He may have got uh, number he got five right. Well, you yeah. never yes, know. and he got another one wrong. Yeah. So there we go. Yeah, well, I'm right. giving far too many clues away now. You are. I am. So, listen, you have a great day, and Thank thanks you. for being a great sport. Right. And uh, cheers, Christine. We play me a record. Yeah, what would you like? I've got Dan Hill. Dan Hill, sometimes when we touch. Yeah. I'll put it on for you in just okay, a moment. Okay, thanks, Rob. Bye-bye. Bye. Magic 999, Mike Hukachu, Alvin Stardust, and guess who's on the phone? The man in black, the man who never smiled in the 70s, apparently. It's Alvin Stardust. Good morning. Good morning. I'm smiling now. <laughs> <laughs> So, you, you never smiled then? That was part of the routine, was it? it well, it was a fluke. We, I did the first Top of the Pops, and uh, we decided I was going to wear black eventually. They wanted me to, my record company wanted me to wear pink and blue. And I just said, oh, God, I can't do that. Because everyone was wearing silver sequins and, and bright coloured clothes and that. And, um, and I said, no, no, I can't do that. So I, I wore, I had some black leather, so I wore that. And I did the first Top of the Pops, and I was so nervous. I just didn't smile, and I didn't move very much. And uh, about three or four days later, the Melody Maker came out, and New Music Express, and they all put, you know, uh, Alvin Stardust, the man in black who, who never smiles, is he mean and moody, and all that. So it um, stuck with you then? Oh, the record company said, hey, that's a good image, that, let's go for it. <laughs> <laughs> and what about the sideburns? Because you had enormous sideburns, didn't you? That was that's a funny story because <laughs> at the time when I first started I had cut, I had fair hair and then we thought well, if I'm wearing black I should really have you know black hair, hair like the Elvis kind of thing yeah so I literally went to Woolworths the day before we did Top of the Pops and bought some black hair dye and I'm in a little bed and breakfast in London um, and I dyed my hair in the sink and I because I never dyed my hair before I didn't have a clue about doing it so I ended up with black nails and black streaks all down the back of my hands <laughs> and two black streaks down the side of my face where it had run down my face. I thought, oh, my God, it's my first so big the... chance for television. So I went out and bought some sideboards and stuck them on. So when you say they went on your hands as well, because I remember you used to wear the black gloves with the big yeah. rings on. Is that because you had the black gloves on to cover up the, the dye? Or... Yeah, that was one, that one of the reasons. The other reason was that the image I had chosen to use in the black leather was actually from a Jack Palance I'd seen a film, a cowboy film with Jack Palance in. Right. And he rode into town on a black stallion with black leather gloves and black leather trousers. And I thought, wow, that's a great image. <laughs> <laughs> Alvin Starr, it's been nice talking to you on Magic 999. And you, thanks a lot. Rob Charles on Magic 999.